Your heart is a muscle that works like a pump. The main job of your heart is to pump blood throughout your body. The heart has a right side and a left side. Each side has an upper chamber, or atrium, which collects blood returning to the heart, and a muscular lower chamber, or ventricle, which pumps the blood away from the heart. The pumping of your heart is controlled by an electrical current, or impulse. The impulse starts at the sinoatrial, or SA, node. Then it spreads through both atria and causes them to contract, squeezing blood into the ventricles. The impulse then travels down to the atrioventricular, or AV, node. The AV node splits into two branches and travels to the bottom of the ventricles at the same time. This lets your heart pump effectively. Pacemakers are made up of two basic parts, the pacemaker generator, sometimes called the battery, and one or more wires, called leads. The generator contains the battery, important wiring, and the computer that makes the pacemaker work properly. The leads are special wires that are attached on one end to the generator and the other end is attached to a spot inside your heart. To help your heart beat properly, a very small pulse of electricity is sent from the generator and travels along the leads directly to the heart muscle. This electrical current makes the heart beat and can be delivered as needed to keep your heart beating at a healthy rate. The day of your pacemaker implant, plan to arrive at the hospital using the instructions you received. You do not have to arrive early as the time we have given you takes into account the time we need to get you ready. You will check into the patient registration desk on the second floor of Y2 Bergen Center. This is the same desk as the pacemaker defibrillator clinic. Take the elevators from the emergency department entrance or the south entrance up to the second floor and turn right through a doorway. After you check in, you will go to the pre and post procedure area and stay there until you are ready to go in for your pacemaker implant. The implant will occur in a special room called the procedure lab. The doctor who will put in your pacemaker will come and meet you in the pre and post procedure area. This is a good time to ask any final questions before you read and sign the consent for the pacemaker. Once you are in the pre and post procedure area, you will change into a hospital gown. Your chest will be clipped and scrubbed with a cold cleaning solution. You will have the chance to use a toilet. An intravenous or IV will be placed in your arm. You will get an antibiotic to prevent infections, and this IV will be used during the implant to give you medications to keep you comfortable. The doctor, nurses, and x-ray technologists are some of the team members needed to put in your pacemaker. All staff will be wearing gowns, masks, hats, and lead aprons. Your chest will be washed again with a cold cleaning solution, and sterile sheets will be placed over you. It is important that you do not touch the top of the sheets once they are in place. Tell the nurse if you have any concerns during the implant and the nurse will be able to assist you. You will receive medications through your IV to help you relax and you may even lightly sleep. You will also receive pain medications through your IV as needed. Freezing will be given to numb the area below your collarbone where the pacemaker generator will be put in. Once the freezing has taken effect, the doctor will make a small cut the pacemaker leads will be threaded through veins to the heart, guided by a special x-ray. This is not painful, but you may feel some light pressure as the veins are entered. The generator is then placed under the skin. Tell the nurse if you have any pain or any concerns. It is important that you stay very still during the implant. Once the pacemaker is in, the cut will be stitched closed. These stitches do not need to be removed as they will dissolve on their own. Steri strips and a small dressing will be placed over a top, and an even larger dressing may be put on top of that. It can take one to two hours, or sometimes longer, to insert a pacemaker. After your implant, we will take you back to the pre and post procedure area on a stretcher. You will be hooked back up to a heart monitor that will show your heart rate and blood pressure. You will also have a chest x-ray to check your pacemaker placement. A nurse from the pacemaker defibrillator clinic will come to see you to check how your pacemaker is working by placing a probe on your chest. It does not hurt when your pacemaker is checked. You may feel some pain at the site where your pacemaker was put in. If you feel pain, tell your nurse and we can change your position and give you medication to make you more comfortable. It is important not to raise your arm on the side of the pacemaker implant above your head for the first four weeks. Doing this can move the leads away from your heart wall and cause problems with the pacemaker function. You may experience bruising or color changes in your skin around the implant site. 
If you were on a blood thinner before the procedure, this may be more noticeable. You can eat and drink normally when you return to the pre and post procedure area. Your nurse will help you as needed and can bring you something to eat and drink. Once you are feeling better, have eaten and walked, you may be able to go home. Some people have to stay in the hospital overnight. We will tell you if you need to stay overnight before we put in your pacemaker. Caring for your incision site. Leave the outer bandage on for five days and keep it dry. You cannot shower with the outer bandage on, but you can take a bath if you make sure the bandage stays dry. You may shower when the outer bandage comes off, but do not soak your implant site underwater until your first checkup. Do not rub soap across the insertion site for 10 days. Do not use lotions or creams on the implant site. The steri strips that cover the implant site can be left on until they fall off. This can take two to four weeks. The stitches under the skin will dissolve on their own. When to call the pacemaker defibrillator clinic. Please call the clinic if your wound swells, bulges, drains fluid, turns red, or feels hot to touch, or if you have swelling or pain in the arm or hand on the side of the pacemaker. Also call the clinic if you have a fever along with one of the symptoms above. Please also call the clinic if you have any concerns. The pacemaker clinic is open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Outside of these hours, please go to your local emergency department. If you feel very dizzy or faint, please go to your nearest emergency room. Do not lift your arm on the same side as the pacemaker was put in above your head for four weeks. Do not lift anything more than five pounds or pull heavy objects with this arm for four weeks. Avoid arm movements like vacuuming and shoveling for four weeks. You can slowly increase your activity to the level you were at before your implant. Avoid swimming, golfing, tennis, and contact sports for four to six weeks. Your doctor will discuss with you how long you have to wait before you should drive. Most people will be told not to drive for at least one week, but it can be longer. This depends on the type of pacemaker you had put in and why you needed the pacemaker. Each time you come to the pacemaker clinic, you will be seen by a nurse who will test your pacemaker and make sure the settings are best for you. When it is needed, a cardiologist will be asked to see you about your pacemaker or your heart rhythm. How often you come to clinic will depend on many factors. At the end of each visit, we will tell you when you need to return for your next appointment. Your family doctor and your cardiologist will receive updates on your visits as needed. Please bring a current list of medications with you to every appointment.